Hey, it's Tim here. And in 2020.3, Tableau continues to improve the capabilities in Ask Data. In this version, they've added the ability to add colloquial suggestions to the Ask Data interface. Let's hop into Tableau and I'll show you how that works. I'm going to be doing this on a Tableau online instance. In this particular case, I'm in my test in this particular case, I'm in my test instance that I use for testing new features. In order to see this feature, you have to first go to a data set that has Ask Data enabled. So I'm going to head over to Explore, go to the top level projects drop down here, and go to my data sources. I say you'll see here I have four data sources, and I'm just going to work with uh, Superstore Sales. You can uh, you can um, publish this up to Tableau Server or Tableau Online yourself and have a go alongside this video. And you can see here that we actually have some suggested questions. And the issue here is that typically these questions are in a language that relates to, you know, the kind of language you type in a database rather than the uh, kind of language you'd actually use if you're asking, you know, a friend a question. And so what this allows you to do is essentially change these suggestions. So you can see here that it's got sum of discount. I actually wouldn't do a sum of discount. I think I'd actually do a sum of sales probably, right? So let's just type sum of sales. Uh, if I type S A L S here, and then that's fine. But the text to display is what we now have the ability to change. So I can actually change this, and I can say uh, total sales. Okay, and I can even say what are the total sales. So now, when Tableau, you know, suggests that you should look at something like sum of sales, it will actually use what are the total sales instead in the text. So you can see here that that's what it does, and when I click on that. It actually opens up the view and it uses the original query that I used in the first place to actually build this view. So it's basically so it's basically a bridge between sort of database and query language and the actual interface that we're using. Um, in some ways, this is a great feature because it helps you sort of bridge the gap in your organization about language. And um, if, you, if you're in a multi sort of cultural organization with lots of different languages, this can start to help you figure out how to add some of those language differences into your data sets. Um, but I'm also hoping that in the future, this is used to improve the machine learning capabilities so that you know Tableau can start to understand um, terms used in your business and see where they're synonyms or, you know, uh, uh, alternate phraseology for the same metrics across different markets, for example, in, 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 a, in a company. But that's pretty much it. That's the feature in a nutshell. If you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the other videos on this 2020.3 playlist. There's some absolutely great content um, uh, to access here. And by all means, subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying it. If you're not enjoying it, let us know what you'd like to improve in the comments, and we'll try and get to that in the next video. I'll catch you in the next one.